Hi everyone, Anna from the Poco Moonshine family here making another video talking about carnivore. We're going to talk about supercharging weight loss on the carnivore diet. I know all of us at some point hit a plateau or we don't quite lose weight how we, how we thought we would, I guess. There's a lot of pressure on it too, you know, just from society to lose weight, but we're going to talk about how you can maybe combat some of the things that you come across that stall you. So the very first thing is drinking only water. I hear people talking about drinking diet soda, including things that have sweeteners in it still. Be very careful. I think sometimes our body reacts to those chemicals and those replacements in the same way that sugar does. So make sure that you're drinking water. And water helps flush out all of the chemicals, all of the bad things that kind of get stored in our fat. Uh, something that I've learned is you store those toxins in your body and your fat when you reach a higher weight. And as you're shedding it, that stuff goes out into your bloodstream. So Water helps flush all of that bad stuff out. So that's why I say drink only water, drink lots of it. It's going to help your weight loss speed up. Another thing is fasting. It is ancestrally aligned that you fast on the carnivore diet. You will find in the beginning, maybe you're still really hungry. But as you keep going along, you're going to lose all that weight and not be as hungry. Or I should say... You're going to not be as hungry, so you'll naturally fast more. On this diet, you don't get as hungry as you did. You don't really snack. You don't eat three or four meals a day. You just you just are full. And it's something that's such beneficial from the carnivore diet. But it's something that if you're stuck, I would do. So me personally, I do between one and two meals a day. If I do two, I'll have a meal in the morning so that when I do have my meal much later in the day, I've fasted for a longer period of time. Ideally, I would do one meal a day every day and then you fast much more. I think they recommend at least a 16 hour fast and then eight hours, but you guys can do kind of whatever you need. We were kind of talking about that yesterday on a live stream about doing what is best for you and making sure that, you know, you're not stretching yourself too much or uh, stretching out your meals too much. So if you need meals closer together, do it. Something that's helped me personally is doing the one meal a day. I did that for like a week and it really seemed to spark some more weight loss and I had been stalled for quite a bit. So I do recommend that. And then, you know, you just have one larger meal. So even though you're not eating as much or as frequently throughout the day, you can still get a bunch of calories within that one meal. I shouldn't even say calories. You get a bunch of protein and fat. And I think those are really important is getting those in on that meal. So try to stick to that. I found that UMAD is not as hard as you think it is. Uh, for me, I, I don't like doing multiple day fasts, but you can. And a lot of people have seen benefits from doing that. So do what's right for you. If you can push longer, do it. I think that we have to take this journey on a personal level. You got to personalize your journey. You're not like everybody else. Everybody's a little different. So try fasting. Try doing it. Seeing how long you, you can go before you're like, oh, my body is so hungry. I think fasting is great because you can listen to your hunger signals better. I think before carnivore, when I would just eat, 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 eat all the time, I never listened to those signals and it took quite a bit for me to get those signals back. But carnivore and fasting, it really helps. It really helps. And then eating mostly, I had written down steak, but eating mostly beef. I think for JT particularly, he doesn't eat bacon on a lot of days. He still does sometimes, but only eating beef and kind of doing the lion diet is another way to really hype up your, your weight loss. So 
I would kind of stick to that. There's all different kinds of beef. You know, you have ground beef, steak, stew meat, all different cuts of, of beef. I would just start trying it. Like if you want to give the lion diet a try, I've heard it's really good. Carrie from Homestead How even says try it for three days. It'll help. And then you can reintroduce something. So it doesn't even have to be a long term thing. It could just be a couple days. And then something that GT learned, and I forget from who, but we can include that link or something in the video description. And he upped his protein, lowered his fat, and lowered his salt intake. Between those three things, he sparked his weight loss again. And he had been on a plateau for several months. It had been a long time, and he, I could tell he was starting to get frustrated. And so that really increased his weight loss, started getting him moving again. And something that you should do is write down what you're eating. I think sometimes when you're making these changes, you don't know if it's like making a change in the positive direction or not. And so write down what you're eating so that you're tracking those slight changes in your day-to-day -day eating patterns. And I think that'll help you out. One thing personally for me is cutting out dairy. So I want to say dairy did not stall me for the first... I would say the first six or seven months of carnivore and now at that point then I stalled and I, mind you I had been very consistent and so I was like what is going on so I um I just tinkered with it and I still have some dairy I eat every day but I don't eat like cheese every day I used to eat cheese all the time and then I think that really stalled my weight loss like I think Jen's doing it really well where she's having it more like on her burgers and stuff. By the way, go check Jen out. She's great. She's a, such an inspiration. She just started carnivore diet not too long ago and is already over two months. I want to congratulate her again. She's doing awesome. And I would recommend you follow her, see how she's doing because she's going to She's going to be such a, a big inspiration as she keeps going along. But yeah, dairy, cheese, milk, cottage cheese. I suppose that falls on cheese, but cream, half and half. Start with something that you're not going to miss. Like cheese, I was like, eh, it's okay. Like I, I don't necessarily miss it. Some days I'll have it, but not every day anymore for sure. So another thing that helps really boost your weight loss is getting tips from the carnivore doctors. I do highly recommend looking at different videos, researching for you because they have videos for about everything. The one that I like to watch a lot is Dr. Barry. He has a million videos or something, you know. He's got so many subscribers and having all of those um, different kinds of videos, you're going to be able to tailor your weight loss to what your specific needs are. There are people who are on carnivore who have different conditions like Parkinson's or... Like I have hypothyroidism or cancer. There's so many different conditions and the carnivore doctors are really going to be able to help you for your particular situation. I think that's really important that, again, not everybody's the same. You have to be able to tailor it to you and find what works for you because someone else may be able to keep cheese, but I'm not able to keep cheese every day. So just keeping those subtle differences in mind is important. Another thing is taking measurements. I never actually took measurements for, I would say, the first half of my journey. And now I've started to because I, for a while, again, I was plateaued and now I'm moving again. But your body composition changes on carnivore. So you can be gaining muscle, losing fat, all at the same time, and the scale won't move. And I feel like the scale is something that people push too much. Even in my brain, I still am like, you need to weigh yourself, you need to weigh yourself, you need to weigh yourself. And it's not necessarily the most positive thing, I think, on somebody's mindset. I think there's been so much pressure on the number that you get on the scale instead of seeing how your body's changing. You have to notice how your body is changing as well, how your clothes are fitting, Again, taking your measurements, seeing those inches drop. I think the inches are probably more important than the number on the scale because you can see how your midline is losing the weight. I had a lot of fat everywhere on my body. So 
I measure my arms, I measure my thighs, I measure my neck, I measure my stomach, my waist. So I think it's just really helpful to see how those change over time. And then learning from other carnivores on YouTube really helps too. Like I have done many live streams lately where I just, I learn something every stream. There's always room for growing and learning from other people. And you, you do that from watching their content or being on a live stream where you can talk through things, you can make better decisions and also avoid mistakes that other carnivores have made. I, especially if you're starting out, I highly recommend looking at a lot of videos so that you can kind of get ideas of what you're going to confront and how to avoid certain common issues that people experience on the diet. And learning from someone else's mistakes can help shorten the amount of time that you are having those issues. And you don't have to learn the same lesson necessarily that they had to. Even for me, I've learned, I've learned certain things like how much fat my body can handle and that helps regulate your bowel movement. So it's just one example of what you could learn from watching another carnivore. And then a last really important point is doing it with somebody else. So JT and I have done this together and for the most part, I was not with him for about the first month, but after the first month, you know, I think it gets easier. Um, the journey gets easier when you're doing it with somebody. And with carnivore, I think it's so much easier to stay consistent. But you, I think there's still times that you have a craving or something. And as you go along, you'll have much less cravings. Um, and for me, I notice when I have a craving, it just, I'm hungry. So it's not anything that like I fall out of carnivore on. I just eat what I normally eat on a carnivore diet at that time and I feel much better. Those cravings go away almost instantly. And so it's nice to do it with someone. So if you find yourself in a hard moment where you're like, ooh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go do this, that we can check each other kind of and be like, no, we're not gonna do this. It's important for our health. It's not worth it. And really it's it's not worth it. Going off the carnivore diet is not worth it not worth it for your health. You've come, you've come so far and especially for those people who have, have done it for any length of time, like a, a week, a month, a year, make sure you have someone who can hold you accountable. And you know, if you make a mistake, just, just chalk it up to, I made a mistake. I own that. And I'm, I'm going to get back on the carnivore diet and I'm not gonna, I'm not going to do that again. I'm just gonna do the best I can keep going forward, take it day by day. And help support the other person who's doing it with you. I think when you're sharing the carnivore diet, so many other people in your life are not going to be that lifestyle. And that's okay. You know, that's their choice. If, you know, the only thing I would say about that is talking to them about it and just, and just trying to put that out there. But, you know, otherwise you might feel a little bit lonely in this. So that's why I say it's extremely important to get somebody in your life who is doing it with you. And now I feel like I have a whole group of people just from hanging out with them, doing live streams, talking to my family about it. And many of my family members now are keto, not all of them, but many of them. And then I have friends like Carrie and Jen and Ellie, all these other carnivores in the community are great. All of those ways that I talked about are really, really good ways to boost your weight loss on carnivore if you're kind of stuck. I really appreciate all of you guys watching. So please make sure to like and subscribe. Share this video with a friend or family member who needs to maybe boost their weight loss or is wanting to start carnivore diet.